Hello guys, Jonas here and welcome to King Sense. And today in this video, I'm here to present you guys with the latest tier list of sensets as that of May 2021, all right? So let's get this started. To begin this discussion, let's start with the most OP unit or let's say the queen of this game and that's gonna be no other than the K herself. She actually provides a lot of AoE damages, especially when we are talking about her ultimate skill. She can damage all the opponents in the battlefield and randomly pulls 5 enemies to a location that can be very helpful for you guys to be strategical or tactical against the opponents out there in the PvP arena battle, alright? So that's the advantage that she's gonna provide to you guys. Even her first active skill as well as her second active skill can deal some really good AOE damage that will allow you to kill multiple enemies with just one single strike. That's the thing that she's going to provide in the table for you guys, all right? And looking into her movement range, it's one of the most impressive out there. She can actually cover the longest distance out there, being able to provide you even more tactical advantage against your opponents. So she's a must have unit. Even if you have to reroll for 100 times do it okay so it's totally worth it and she's gonna be the jewel of your account all right and looking into her attack range it's pretty effective out here as well as she can actually maintain a really good healthy distance between herself and the opponent and possibly less chance of her getting counter attack especially by the melee attackers anyways now let's move on to the next unit and that's gonna be Kobu so when we are talking about Kobu I will be placing her in a tier yes you heard me right well Looking into her attack range, it's not really that effective. She is only going to cover four tiles and uh, seems like she's going to be placed in such a way that she's definitely going to get countered by the opponents, okay? And uh, her movement range is pretty average as well. Looking into her ultimate skills, she's definitely capable of dealing uh, keep, like that burst damage to a single target, all right? So definitely, she's a good character when we are looking for boss fights. But looking into the movement, you know, like this tile effectiveness, it's not really that great it seems to be quite linear all right and now when we are talking about the uppercut it actually d takes two skill points even though it's pretty impressive okay well guess what guys she is the unit that can actually ignore the physical defense of the opponents as well as those power resistance with this fast active skill all right so she can be quite helpful especially in those battles when you are dealing with very tough opponents very tanky units she's definitely going to make them knockout all right so there there we go guys anyways that's gonna be our kobu let's move on to our next unit and that's gonna be the yugimi and i will be placing her in a tier as well so when we are talking about the yugimi right over here ladies and gentlemen her attack range is not really that effective either that four tiles around her and definitely she is gonna get countered most of the time by the opponents whenever she is attacking the opponent like right so yeah that's the problem with her and her movement range is pretty average as well when we are looking into fast active skills she can stun the opponent out there that is going to be quite helpful and thanks to her ultimate skills she can actually deal some really good damage to multiple enemies at the same time especially if the opponents are under the daunting effect okay thanks to her second active skills she will be able to daunt multiple opponents out there so that's gonna be it guys that's all there is to it she's a pretty tactical unit if you can actually use her you can definitely deal some really good damage out there but if you are not tactical well she can be quite hard to use out there anyways now let's move on to the next unit and that's gonna be loja or let's say Lo Loja, okay. So when we are talking about it, I will be placing Loja in S tier. All right. So let's start talking about her. Well, her movement range is pretty average, just like any other units out there, and her attack range is now pretty impressive. Well, she is now going to cover a total of eight tiles, and she can even attack diagonally. Okay. So if she can attack the diagonally, that means like even the melee attackers will not be able to counter her now that's the advantage that she is going to provide to you guys I mean like she is going to have a little bit more tactical sustenance advantage out there against the opponents so that's so good out there guys and she actually can deal some really good single target nuking damages and on top of that one she actually can create that voltage turn with which she can paralyze the opponents if she can paralyze the opponents that particular target will have its movement reduced by two points and they cannot cost the skill think about it like how useful it is actually going to be in arena contents yeah in the pvp arena content she is definitely going to be a coin okay she is gonna be really really helpful out there and thanks to ultimate strike she can actually deal some really amazing damage to a random enemy out there there's a little bit of rng effect going around that's a little bit bad thing out there all right but anyways she can actually deal some really good damage out there with her ultimate skill all right 
So that's the thing. Uh, she is out here to deal some really good damage. And even with the second action skill, she has this advantage of dealing bonus 50% damage to those opponents who have that sub bolt effect on them. All right. So that's the thing out there, guys. Anyways, now let's move on to the next unit. And that's going to be the Shisei. Okay. Shisei is that particular unit that I will be placing her in the A tier. Okay. I will be placing her in the A tier for now. She can summon a robot or let's say a mecha guard okay and that mecha guard can deal some really good damage some AOE damage as well as stunning opponents like yes that's the ability out there but hey for this unit to be really effective she needs to summon that mecha unit all right and uh, she can also fix those mecha unit as well and that can be quite helpful out there ladies and gentlemen but the problem is that her attack range it's very limited only four tiles around her and whenever she is attacking by herself maybe there's a chance that she's always going to get countered okay and that's the problem with her her movement range is pretty average as well and you can see that her First active skill when she's actually using that mecha, she's not being able to deal any damage out there at all. She's just like, you know, using her skill in order to summon the mecha, alright? And just starting her second active skill, she's now finally being able to damage the opponents, okay? So that's all there is to it. If you can actually use Sise in a very proper manner, thanks to ultimate skills, you can actually turn the tables around, especially in the arena battles, being able to stun multiple opponents as well as dealing really good AoE damage as well. Any enemy in the path will get damaged and uh, those uh, enemies around the grid, like it enemies around the grid will actually get damaged out there as well really good area damage that i can i think it's going to be quite helpful especially for arena contents anyways now let's move on into the next unit and that's going to be theon all right so i'll be placing theon in the s tier all right because she's one of the best healer in the game out there man <laughs> thanks to her this thing called sidekick she can summon up to two sidekick right and that sidekick can provide a lot of healing every freaking turn like yes every freaking turn so with that sidekick guess what guys your team will have a lot of effective sustenance in the battlefield all right and thanks to her second active skill she can actually provide that burst healing to a particular target and it can be quite helpful at certain times because she can actually rescue the target as well because it says pulls the first ally in a direction to your side out there with the channeling all right so that's the thing out there and if you can actually use her second active skill in a very tactical way it can actually provide you guys a lot of strategical advantage out there against the battle uh, against the opponents out there in the battlefield especially in the pvp arena content all right so when we are talking about her overflow right away guys she also gained one skill point which can be quite helpful out there guys it can actually allow you to turn the tides of the battle because if you have skill points definitely you will be able to keep on using those skills that could actually do some magic out there all right and she can also summon like extra sidekick all right and that sidekick can actually provide you even more sustain the battlefield because if you have two sidekick think about it how much healing you are actually going to be able to enjoy and how much range you're actually going to be able to cover okay so that's the thing her movement range is pretty good and her attack range is pretty good as well being able to maintain that solid really good safe distance between her and the opponent out there so that's that guys and now let's move on into the final unit and that's gonna be a free to play unit known as Mio okay she is attack type unit and I will be placing her in the S tier there are a total of 7 MR grade units right now and that's gonna be the last unit that I'm gonna be talking about today in this video and her name is Mio she's definitely capable of dealing really good AoE damages. Yes, you heard me right. A very good DPS unit out there that you can totally count on her. And she is being given for free to everyone. Just claim that pre registration gift or that mailbox gift right away as soon as you start a new account. And well, you are going to get her for free right away. It's like, what? Right? So, yeah. A movement range pretty average just like any other units out there all right and her attack range well it's pretty effective okay she actually is going to cover eight tiles around her being able to attack even diagonally to the opponents that is definitely going to minimize the chances of you getting countered by the opponents all right so more sustenance to your uh um, you know, like resume and next is going to be her fast active skill known as the lido being able to deal real good damage out there and she actually going, is going to target all the enemies in the range. Uh, so same goes with the second active skill out here as well. Look at that. There is a lot of effect. Thanks to this ranger and return effect, she is definitely so good at 
channeling the skills out there, okay? <laughs> when it comes to skill management, she is the best out there and also dealing a lot of damage out there as well, all right? Look at that. Teleports behind an enemy and deals really good physical damage to them and also gain Ranger and Blink and Punish. So many things going around. If you can just use her in a tactical way, oh my god, you can actually take get a lot of tactical advantage right away against your opponents. And when we are talking about her ultimate skill, look at this. She's actually going to deal some really good AoE damage to the opponents and thanks to our Mew, you will be able to delete, you will be able to kill so many enemies in just one single strike, okay? So yeah, that's the advantage that Mio is gonna provide to you guys out there, okay? Very good skill uh, management and very good AoE damage as well as single target nuke as well because her flash is a single target nuke out here, all right? So that's gonna be it and her attack range is pretty awesome as well whereas her movement range is pretty average, okay? And she has been given for free so that is so good news out there. Anyways, that's it for the tier list for now because there are only 7 MR units right now, all right? Anyways, what do you guys think about the tier list uh, that I just mentioned to you right now? If you guys do agree with this tier list, please do hit the like and subscribe button right away. I would really appreciate it. I really need a lot of subscribers and a lot of your love, all right? Let's give it to me. Give it to me. And if you have any kind of criticisms, if you have different feedbacks, if you have different opinions, please do let me in the comment section below and let's have a really good discussion like why is it like that? Which unit should be going up the tier list and which unit should actually go down the tier list? Let's have a proper discussion about that one. And that's it and done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it for today and see you guys in the next video.